what is black sovereignty as a general definition? Bo? Oh, you ask any black fellow, you're going to get, you know, uh, as many answers as you would with any other uh, general question. To me, it's sort of, you know, having the choice and, and the right and the responsibility to have a say in, it's our birthright. You know, mm. it's me having the right to sort of jump in this podcast and sort of have an open dialogue with you and say, look, you know, for me to feel as a sovereign within this country, I want to have my voice be heard as equally as anybody else. Black followers, you know, marching down the street very proudly, you know, to say, stop, you know, murdering our people, stop, you know, destroying our land. You know, that's us actively um, uh, uh, getting out there and sort of expressing our, our sovereign uh, rights. The same list that had a, a follow-up, they ask whether, you know, the claims that a voice or amendment to the constitution would negatively impact sovereignty, whether there is, you know, any truth or, or evidence for that. And I do know that the Treaty Before Voice campaign have put forward claims like this. You know, like, um, I'm a firm believer that, you know, um, nothing can sort of take our sovereignty. So I don't believe anything could, you know, usurp the sovereignty of Aboriginal people. But then obviously physically they can implement, you know, uh, laws and legislations that in the past to sort of impede on, you know, our sovereign rights you know but as an Aboriginal person I know deep down that this is and always will be black follow land and, I, and and you know I belong the country I'm not just an Aboriginal person I'm Gumori Kuma and Marawari 